Hello everyone, this is Clone Wars Weekly, and this week, we're gonna bash everything you love about the Clone Wars. So sit back, get your pitchforks, and shut the hell up! <laughs> okay, so which episode are we gonna bash first? Massacre. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Wait, so why Massacre? Why do you hate it? Because this episode was just about the most overrated one I can possibly think of. I can think of more overrated ones. Really? Such as? I said I could think of them. I, think, I, didn't, I would think of them. It has been almost a fan favorite, it seems, but it really has nothing going for it. What is the substance of the plot? The main thing that changes in this is Ventress be, getting to be on her own. That is pretty much the story to this. Otherwise, it's pretty much a lot of random deaths, <laughs> and a lot of random darkness, and a lot of random more deaths. Grievous yeah. killing. <laughs> For all you people saying Grievous beat Ventress, he didn't! You fools! Okay, okay. He really didn't. No, because... Ventress had his ass on the ground, and then Grievous was like, Kill her! And all He's all like, like, bro, um, uh, cheat codes, I got an army. Exactly, he, he did some hacks, but we all know, if the droids weren't there, Ventress would have ripped him with the lightsabers, and Grievous would have been just like a droid splat on the <laughs> ground. He that. should have thrown his lightsabers into his chest. Just sad. Even what? with... Four lightsabers. Sort of like a running joke at this point in the show. I mean, I'd say his well, best portrayal I've seen in a long time was the Young Jedi arc. And, oh, I thought you were going to say... Well, yeah, that was a long time ago. Boy. Mm, and that one, Hondo away. owned him, so... <laughs> That's Steven <even> worse! <laughs> when a drunken pirate can kick your ass, that just shows... Your respect is going all the way. <laughs> yeah. Poor Grievous. He's... Yeah. But this is by far the most realistic portrayal of him to all you fans of the micro-series. The series sucked! But anyways. But and then, no, but, but then everyone's saying, like, Ventress used the Force on Grievous and cheated. But I don't recall her using the Force. And I don't recall Grievous play, playing no kid either. Wait, did Ventress even... Used the, she didn't Possible use the she force. did. I haven't seen the episode in a while. Don't particularly care to. But it, you people, you, what does that say for you? If those droids hadn't been there, he would have died. I wonder what a fight against um, Echo versus Ventress would be like. You just let his ass just drop to the ground dead. Aww. Anyway, um, there were a few elements to... Um, to massacre that I liked, I guess. Like, uh, some of the Night Sister stuff was very visually interesting. And that bit with uh, oh, Talzin coming out of Dooku's chest, that was all oh. very well done. But I mean, like, man, it was just a bad episode. Like, <laughs> it's amazing that We're Bounty gonna... followed it because that was so, like, the complete opposite. Yeah! Bring on oh, the crap! No, no, I got a crap okay. episode. I got, this is probably, we're going to get fan bashing from this. Hunt for Zero. <laughs> Interesting. There were some aspects of this one that I liked, like Quinlan Voss, he was, he was a boss. But then yeah. Bane shows up and starts doing some mid-air 360s and kicking bosses. I'm just like, what the is going on here? What the, uh, that whole fight just seemed really lame. Yeah, it was pretty much made for Cad Bane fan service, but... I don't hate this episode quite as much as most people. I liked some elements of it for sure. Like um, heck, even Zero got some character development yeah. in it, and that was surprising. Did he died. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> hey, he died. The rock thing killed him. Quentin, do you have an episode to bash? Oh, 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 oh! It's called Rookies. See, there's this cold trooper. His name's Echo. What's <laughs> wrong with you? <laughs> Not rookies. I thought you liked that episode. He's I know. Cool. I wanted to talk He's about cool. it. No. What is wrong with you, son? Yeah, Echo. Okay, I'll give us an episode. You want to know a really crappy episode? You want to know this piled on top of a donkey drivel? I'll give you one. 
it's called Crisis yeah. on Yeah. <laughs> then again, this whole arc, we could just, like, bash over and over again. Let's bash I the- finally have an episode. I know it's probably invalid now. Let's just get to that one later, but... It, most of the Senate episodes in Season we'll 3. We'll get to that. We'll get to, uh, but first, we have to talk about this Hardeen the Hardeen arc. arc. Well, talk about wasted okay. opportunities, man. This whole, that, there were a lot of good stuff here that you just want to like, oh. you know? Hardy. But, I mean... And then Crapstain shows up, and he's got that prison outfit. He looks even more like a chick than he did in the past episodes, and <laughs> it, it just goes from really bad to stupid. What the hell am I watching? It and also starts like, to become a lot more pointless just, as the arc goes on and loses focus as to where the heck they were going in the first place. I mean, I even at the going. end, when uh, then it suddenly de- oh. devolves into a, another Anakin versus Dooku fight. What the hell was up with that? It was like Shadow Warrior. It was like they just randomly threw that. <gasps> they so randomly they could... threw in a fight. Well, no, know. it's it's probably so. They could say put lightsaber fighters. So you Clone can Wars. Yeah, there were lightsaber fights in that. So go yeah. watch it. Did it, it suck? It's with money. So but even the sucked. main <laughs> plot that they had been building up the whole time with the bounty hunters going to kidnap Palpatine wasn't. It had not lasted. Yeah, like that five wasn't minutes. even the main point of the final episode. No, the main point was. Yeah. Final the main episode. point was. The- uh, arc. No, the main point was for Anakin to fight chairs. <laughs> the, the chairs, he was just the chairs meant were to his be, enemy. He was meant chairs to betray you down. because they work for me. He was meant to beat down those chairs, and he did. He did a terrible job at that. Don't worry, I'm gonna get to that later. Still, to all of our new viewers here, Crapstain is a name that Batil is using for Cad Bane. It fits perfectly! I mean, it's Cad Bane, and now it's Crap Stain. You get it? Just roll with it, people, okay? But, and then... Please, let, let, we understand that you have different opinions. Do not hate us. We but don't. we don't care! Because we have our opinions, and you have yours. So, anyway, Crap Stain. In this arc, his character... We're, t- t- we're still talking about the Hardeen arc, man. Ah, uh, yes, yes. So, I mean... You're probably going to, like, castrate me for, for saying this, but I didn't mind him in Season 2. <laughs> well, until it got... Well, <laughs> over the force. What the hell was that? It was like a next suit. But, but then, in this one, he, first of all, he, he hates Hardeen. He hates him. Like, he's just like, I'm bringing this dude along with us. Of course, you never be right. Yeah, I'm not doing the main voice anymore. And then, <laughs> it gets to the next what episode. What, I don't know. And then he kicks him in the nuts, and then the next one he's saving him, and the next one he's he's, he's fighting him. And it, I had what? someone once explain the concept that. that Bane apparently will help people that he's learned to respect or something. Full crap. Yeah. This this statement is false. It what? doesn't make this statement is false. Why would he help people he respects? I mean, I could see if it was maybe. It, it, if it would give him benefits, but I don't think he's going to go out of his way to help someone he respects. Like, if that guy's getting his ass kicked and he respects him, he's probably still going to let him get his ass kicked. Why would he go over there and get in a fight when he could let the guy die? Man. I don't he, know. He killed an Athorian over a hat. Man, that's so stupid. I'd kill someone for that hat. I mean, it's better than the Princess Leia-looking bullcrap thing he had on before. It's a hat, man. Well, dude... But the, but his one had an antenna on it. it Maybe he like shouldn't a wear a hat in the first place if he has bad fashion choices. I'll have everyone know right now, I'm not prejudiced against Duros, okay? We're prejudiced against crap stain. Exactly. It is, it is crappy stain-ness. Do, 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 do. What the hell are you? I, I was wi- I was giving the audience time to think of what that means. Okay, well, on another note, it the whole art was just like a freaking mess of 
tangled together. It didn't right. have any cool it, it didn't sweeten like, my I feet. liked uh, Daron and Twazi, but they didn't get squat to do. They were, could have been great. It could have been characters with a lot of development to put to them, but no. Wait a minute. Embo was in that arc? <laughs> he was fighting people with his hat. He spoke English for He's like, Ooh, Ooh, he played, did Shara. And then he, he did some things, and that was it. Yeah, really, I don't know why um, Embo was there. He didn't get to do anything. Deron. Uh, yes, he's awesome. The messed out Goomba? You can insult his looks what? all you like. I think it was a cool design. His mating call towards that little Coruscant workman. He was like, <laughs> Corey has infected your mind. No, I'm serious. When I first saw it, I was like, what the going on here he, he reached his hand i was like Rrr! and it is it, just ah you boring. small minded humans you disgust me i'm not a human sir you know what disgusts me that floating goomba's mating call towards the coruscant worker that's what disgusts coruscant? me coruscant you mean naboo you, oh same difference that was naboo the whole, the whole episode did. sucked ow they didn't really make it feel like it was on naboo okay wait explain to me why the whole opening scene had to involve them fighting random work Action, workers pretty much. didn't even need episode Like, why were they... Killer! But why did they have to Killer go... Fight. Why did they go in there in the first they place? They found an empty warehouse. <laughs> the freaking idiots, man! And then Dooku could just, like, lightning everyone, but he sends in them. What? Let's talk about the Senate episodes in episode uh, three. You mean season three, right, yeah. Season... The trauma that I had. Yeah, see, I thought it was... Going that. from watching... I remember half episodes, these names. Character dies. I don't remember any of the names. I... Talking about those T episodes? Oh, yeah, the, the T ones. So they had, like, those Egyptian pharaoh-looking chicks come in, and then... Then they poisoned... That was the T episode? Wait. <laughs> okay. I don't know. On topic, on topic. Uh, Senate episode. We don't know what the topic is um yeah wait with the t ones that's when the, the pharaoh chicks came in and they were all like poison your tea. and then the guys like okay and then children's they get poisoned and then hold on one second <laughs> wait, i'll be right oh. back shooting happens and then end of the episode like, this it's just it could have been a backdrop to a cool plot, but that was it. That was the substance oh, of that episode. Uh, it, it was just... It, uh, it sucked. It, it, it sucked hard. I mean, like, it was just... It may have well never happened. What was the point of it? My mind? It never exactly. Did. I mean, like... I, can, I like simple stories, okay? That's one reason why I'm loped. This is like stupid. Yeah, this is, this there is, is nothing to it. Ah, went like this, and then went like this, and then it went like this, and then it went like this. It's bad, Albert. <laughs> uh, we may as well call this our random episode. It's the improvised episode. Everything on here is 100% wages. But we always do. But everything we do is improvised. Okay, so, yes. Um... I'm going to bring up one of my least favorite of all time, Senate Murders. Which one? Oh, no. Oh, is that the Can one where the, the chick Rodian tries to, like, grow Padme? What? I remember that one. She was like, you're coming with me for insurance. <laughs> and then someone punches... Padme punches her right in the face. And she oh, falls man, over. this episode sucked. And then on our condo fire was... <laughs> and he died. Shut up. Did you need to remind Rose of what happened? And then he died, right? He got, like, poisoned. But, but the ironic thing is, he was poisoned by his own advisor Shut person. Up. Named Lolo. Is <laughs> uh, yeah. ironic how one of your favorite Rodian characters was in course killed by another <laughs> Rodian? <laughs> I think what you were trying to say was... That one didn't work that time!
I hate that episode so bad. It's just because the, the, she kills Anaconda Far, but in the same time, he doesn't actually die. And there's no action! None of those episodes in that well, line of that season were rememberable. Well, actually, I remember the part with Padme punched Lola right in the face. Wait, I don't. You... Okay, look, okay, okay, look, this could be funny. So... Lolo kills Anaconda Far. Lolo <laughs> kills Anaconda Far. And then, what if Lolo, in turn, got killed by a Coruscant Security Force member who would actually be another Rodian? <laughs> be like a Rodian treason whatsoever. <laughs> He'd just be like driving along his speeder, and the speeder would just like give out. He'd be like, "No!" <laughs> I'd. And he would just go. I'd splat. rage if it wasn't for the fact that this is really not within well what I'm trying to say here is I could see that happening so sadly <laughs> yes uh, well and they're then they're making the Rodians into the red shirts remember the time when Crapstan electrocuted ah uh, yes ball? my second least favorite episode see, but that was a good episode <laughs> other than that Quentin other than that part, but, sir! But I like that episode! You will all burn! But it was a no, good it wasn't. episode! It was, Name what was so it, good why about wasn't it? it? <laughs> no, no, Cad Bane, turn it off! Him, prejudice, set to maximum. That would be awesome if that happened! And then. Jar Jar tries to lick the Oh yes, I'm remembering and... another one of my least favorite episodes. Wait, I was telling the people about how Jar Jar was licking The episode things. I am thinking of is called Revival. <laughs> the start well, of Season 5. We can, there could be one thing that's established from this episode. Is that Darth Maul and Savage are complete pussies. They certainly stink. They run from Hondo. <laughs> Who runs from Hondo? Well, Grievous does. Yeah. So, Darth Maul and Savage, they run from Hondo. And Obi-Wan, they run Lose from... Lose an Obi arm and a leg. <laughs> yeah, now if only both could have lost like two arms. All that they were, were doing in that entire episode, it seemed, was to build up Maul and Savage as threats. Uh, they killed off uh, Finn Earthay the Twi'lek at the beginning. They killed off Adi freaking Gallia, trying to build them up as threats. And then all of a sudden, boom, Savage loses an arm. And then they go, oh, run, 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 run. Everybody starts losing their mind. <laughs> Do you remember when Savage killed Gallia the way he picked her with the horns? And he just oh, man. Looked so episode. awkward on screen. It was weird. Like, yeah, you're dead now. <laughs> dead and then I would allow. The laugh. thing is like I just said they spoiled all of that villain development and why would they do that? Who, who in their right mind would think that that is acceptable storytelling? Well apparently you do Patil because you like the episode. I liked it because I saw it at Celebration so I had to like mm -hmm. it. Me too. It was the bliss of Celebration. We were watching. We were like, Holy we crap! Were, we, were we were filled with excitement in childhood fantasy of Star Wars. Well, you'll forgive me if I don't join in your celebration. See, we couldn't let the fact that you it was like destroy our minds. We knew it was going to be bad, but our minds blocked that out, so it automatically. We. Well, it's good to know it that good. prejudice has been set to maximum. Wait, let me, wait, hold on, wait, give me, hold, wait, did you... <sighs> There you go. That's a good Batil. Wait. Anyways, so, your Echo? Yeah. Wait, since when? <gasps> let's, speaking of Echo, let's talk about how we die. <laughs> the Citadel Arc. Do you remember the time when Echo, he ran out in front of Droid Blaster Fire and randomly got the entire team nearly killed because he blew up their only way of transportation of getting off the planet? I remember that! Do you remember when Charger fell off a cliff? 
And took out a bunch of clones with him. <laughs> You'll pardon me, that... Quentin, if I don't have any sympathy for you. Quentin's like raging over there because that ass blown off. <laughs> I didn't hear you joining in my defense when we were discussing Cargo of Doom, so... You guys got nothing on me. You got my, None of my favorite characters have died. You know that Whack is going to die, right? How is Whack going to die? What does he do to get himself killed? What does he, he's... But he hasn't died yet, so you got nothing on me yet. And then if Ventress dies, I will rain oh half hell down upon which... That crap stain must die. We must string him up and leave him out in the sun to get his face picked at by Gundarks or something. No, we must throw him into the pit and have him pecked by birds. Nope. That would be yeah. too. I like mine better. Alright, but Till, uh, do you happen to have any particular episode you'd despise? <sighs> yes! I do! I got Shadow Warrior. Shadow Warrior! <laughs> but do we even need to say anything? To bash this episode. Look how the... bad it is. It, it was... bashes itself! I know. You know, I personally think it was meant to be bad. Maybe they were trying to crush everyone's... Well, like, why did they call it Shadow Which is actually a pretty good name. Shadow Warrior. What? A year and a half. A terrible episode that seems to, you know, insult itself. Who? Is it Jar Jar? Is it Grievous? Tarples? Anakin? I Dooku? Bet it's Tarples. Who is wow. dead now? Yeah. But he's dead. He the was one, the one... The one gun get I like! <laughs> no, there's Cleef. He, he was... Kind of a I bat. hated Cleef. <laughs> he I... always killed me. I hate him. Cause you're That's a noob. He's on the Wii version, so give him some slack. But man, yeah. <laughs> this episode, there was one good thing. If there's one good thing about it, it was Jar Jar lightening the mood with that confrontation with Grievous. I found that strangely hilarious. No, that was total bull crap. Bull crap. Because then Jar Jar kicked Grievous' ass oh, later yeah, on. Right. He threw the ball that disarmed Grievous. <laughs> it was Jar Jar Stinks that well, did that. Well, that just shows you how powerful of a warrior your mighty Grievous is. The Shadow Warrior. My mighty Grievous? No, I disowned Grievous. <laughs> I used to like Grievous, but... Then I saw Shadow Warrior. Then my respect for... Just this is up. for all of our oh, Grievous oh, yeah, fans yeah. out there. Hi, Dan! <laughs> <laughs> Dan, don't kill me! I like life! But then again, the world's gonna end next week, so that's gonna be fun. We but... got nothing to lose! <laughs> Speaking our mind before it goes out. He'll rage on this. It'll be just be like paragraphs of grievous lovers just like swarming us. Oh, dear God, we're all screwed. Let's talk about one or two more. So the thing oh. is what with about... the Senate episodes, they follow the same reasoning why we don't like the T oh. episode. They literally, the plot is all there is there. There's nothing more to it. If they built some sort of character study or um, something other than the Senate, it might be entertaining. But uh, then again, when they tried to do that for uh, Senate murders, it completely stank. So, you know, what do you know? Uh, what if all right, we, I'll what bring up one of mine then. Mortis. Mortis. What if we talk about Mortis? Mortis is good. Uh, I'll bring up one of mine then. Uh, children of the Force. <laughs> oh! I think we should talk about the Mortis trilogy. Wait! I mean, you got Bane kidnapping little kids and... Bringing him to Patine and his it is an inkled body, so that he can oh, no. he can manage oh, no. mini power into his... he's gonna take their minds. Man, once again <laughs> proving like Cad Bane blows. I mean, Django would never kidnap kids. He's a cool bounty hunter. Come on. I don't know. What is dead, but, you know what can you say? I don't know too many bounty hunters that would kidnap kids in general on this show. Maybe I mean, like, Bosk would, but I, I mean, 
Maybe. He's not bright enough, even, so. That's Embo is I don't even think Bobo would. What the fuck was the Caps game? I don't have high respect. He is a kid himself! I don't have high respects for Bobo. I'm like, it's wrong. And then Bane, like, has he no shame? Does he have no shame? Well, I mean, he runs under that big freaking cowboy hat. But I still like that hat. But he... And guess what? Species one of the kids are. Which species could it be? I think the Rodians. No! Impossible! Remember in the beginning... How is it that he only... They all show him getting away with that one, but not the others? There was a Nautilin kid as well, but I mean... They only they showed the Rodian one, and they even mentioned Bala Ropal in that episode. It was like... Uh, and that was like... It, Pouring salt on my gaping wounds. It's like kicking you in the nuts for a second time. <laughs> <laughs> that's like when, that's like when in the Citadel arc, they lost a ship and they barely acknowledged Echo's death. They it's don't like even when say they had that Dave. interview with um Dave Filoni, and he's all like, yeah, and he doesn't talk a thing about Echo's death. All he talks about is the scenery and the art. And I'm like. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know. He never talks about the things that we seem to really want him to talk about in those I features. That. Like, I'll be watching one. I'll be like, come on, talk about this, talk about this. And he just like skips over like, oh, what the crap. I know what you mean, man. It's just not cool. Like in Layer of Grievous, I was expecting him to go talk about Grievous' I'll back. He just I'll skipped celebrate. over it. Like, like, that's nothing important. Why should we care what happened to him? <laughs> oh crap, I can't admit those books non-canon. I don't know what you is guys. canon with Grievous anymore. I mean, technically it's supposed to be still canon, but like the way the show goes, uh, no. He turned himself yeah. into a robot. He, he turns into a robot because of Sand Hill and, and then HK shows up and blows his ass up and takes what? his fight. <laughs> And I think you're starting to mix this up with your fan fiction, Batil. No, the GLaDOS for the win! <laughs> okay. okay, but what were we... Oh yeah, I don't like it. It's yeah. really not right. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, it was just that a messed episode up episode. Me. I mean, I know they were probably going for a darker tone, but, like, come on. Bane is a bounty hunter, okay? They were probing. Uh, have they no shame? Again, I okay. I got a question for you guys. This is like if totally. The, if random. the kids had died, I probably would have stopped watching the show. Thank goodness they managed to rescue them. But like the Rodian one. <laughs> You're not gonna stop, are you? Not until I Rodian oh, rage. Remember when Bane? I meant Crap I think he has some like prejudice against Rodians. I honestly I'm not do. prejudice against Rodians. I no, like No, I mean Bane. Oh well obviously everyone he goes every time we see him, he's always in a scene screwing with Rodians somehow. Thank like Ropal? It's like he's sta it's like he's trying to make Ronin hate him. Think Thank of Gennody. I must. What if Bane does something to Gennody? <laughs> 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 oh no! Don't say that! Don't say that! Never because say that! Because we know that. Bane's supposed to show up with Boba Fett if yeah. the young Jedi appear and Bane fights Gennady. Toothpicks are involved! No. What would you do? Would you rage? I think we killed him. Did we? I think so. Okay, so I've got my episode now. Okay, just say it. I think we lost Rose. No man droids! I don't even remember that. Oh, that one! Is that the one? Wait, I don't like those which episodes. Stuff. Wait, wait, wait. The really rushed wait. one. Okay, so, yes. Bath! Nomad droids. Bath is on the TV! 
Oh, he's gone. Okay, commercial. What? Oh, that episode, it totally sucked. Uh, it was like the droids, and they were going into... This was another one that I see as a simple Basically. story that was fairly well executed, though I do admit it lacked in a lot more substance than what we currently have with the droid arc in season five, so... Um, it was just more of a fun ride that I don't mind, though I can certainly see as filler. It was thriller, huh? but ow! Thriller night, and no one's gonna save you from the beast. But thriller, is this is thriller. Ow! <laughs> oh, it burns my mentality. <laughs> Why you children gotta do that to me? I don't know. I don't know. I really you don't, don't know. All right. I know. For you. Wait. We did talk about the nomad droids, right? Just did that. No. We just I did. I didn't get the ridge. It was filler. Was so, yeah, it was filler. That was all <laughs> it was. You didn't see anything. We saw filler. We saw Grievous for a couple seconds doing... No, he was doing... Again. Still, no. despite all your dislike for it, you got to admit one thing. That was better than Onderon. Not just... Gotta mention another episode. <laughs> um, that was actually a good episode, but it's kind of hard to watch now. Uh, Clone Cadets. Which... Like, because you know that all the characters are gonna <laughs> die. But they set it aside from fives. Must die, die, die! You must die, die! I think he means. Uh. You must die. When you just set to maximum, you must die. How dare you, 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 you demon! Gosh! Sad thing is, this is his actual reaction. There's like no acting here. <laughs> no! No! Don't say that! Never say that! Never! Don't you ever say that again! Never! I swear on the grave that will soon be mine if I keep freaking out like this! You better never but say that like, ever again! Because we know that they're all gonna die in like future episodes. He does not die! He never dies! Uh, die. actually! Shut up! Stop, was... stop speaking! Stop! Shut up! Stop! He in the ah, stop! Ah, I'm throwing my headphones up! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. We, we lost this may be one of the greatest rages ever captured. But in all actuality, Echo does die. He's not dying. That is some strong armor and you gotta admit it. Alright. It was singed to a crisp. He I think we should him. wrap this up. No, we shouldn't. <laughs> Wait, let me do the extra. Alright. What? I'll do the extra. Okay, wait, so, parting thoughts, people, what do we got to say all right, for ourselves? Well, we all know that this is all opinion here, and we all know we're going to get a massive amount of hate for this episode. So, <laughs> you know what we've done here, right? We may have crafted the most deadly weapon of all time. That is... <laughs> <Come to die. laughs> Okay, I'm going to do the outro, people. Okay, uh, i got to think of something really crafty. Next time we eat Skrillex! Ha! Cut that out, you Rodian <laughs> You bet I will. You can't cut it out. You can't. I didn't say the outro, I said it yet. I actually cut out a lot of stuff usually in the episode. <laughs> okay, I'll say it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What do I... Okay. Wait, I'll say the outro. And this has been Clone Wars Weekly with your host, Bitil, wait, my, Bitil, Ronin, and, uh, Quentin. who are you? What? Quentin. <laughs> Quentin, Bitil, Quentin. Okay, and next week, we eat Skrillex. Ta-da! Oh.